Welcome back. In this demonstration, we're going to be making this Father's Day composition. We're going to be making Sumier maple leaves. So to get started, we're going to need to make sure that our Sumier brush is tipped very well and it has that bent back um, shape. As you um, paint, hold your brush vertically and just press the tip down ever so slightly and pull it in towards the center. Notice how I change the direction of my brush stroke each time so that the tip of my brush is making the little petals or the um, little leaf parts here and then I can drag my brush up like that to make the stem. All right. As you go through, be really conscious of having some paper towels there so next to you so that you can dry off your brush and reshape your brush on the paper towels to ensure that you've got a really nice tip right there on your brush. Notice how I bend my brush backwards ever so slightly to make that um, tipped piece on the leaf. And if you want to, you can um, not do that little stem at the end and leave it for later. Okay, now as you get started, this is what your final composition will look like when we're done. And what you want is a 3 inch by 8 inch piece of paper. Um, and make sure that you have a nice uh, bunch of paper towels and some clean fresh water. As you go through, you're going to have to be conscious of making your brush uh, have the right amount of moisture in it, making sure that you've got the right amount of paint, and then also changing that. So as you load your brush up, you can use that as an opportunity to shape it and then reshape it on your paper towels. Start with your main leaf, the leaf that you want to be the main part of the composition. And here, as you see, I kind of set my brush down and then bend it backwards so that I can create that nice tipped point and bring the center into the middle of the maple leaf. Okay, once you get that main piece done, and here's I'm just tipping that brush one more time to make sure it's shaped nicely before I use it, then um, you're going to start doing the rest of them. Now, notice as I go through the rest of these um, that I turn my brush each time. Um, I make a new part of the leaf and you really want to make sure that you're turning your brush each time so that you get um, those nice tips pulling towards the center. Right there I just got my brush um, wet so that my next maple leaf would be a little bit lighter so I'm trying to go for this light valued maple leaf and this darker one here being the main um, part of our composition. Now as you go through you're gonna want to have um, some asymmetry to the way that you place your leaves. All right, The leaves themselves are symmetrical so that's going to bring some symmetry to our Sumier picture but then in the sense of capturing kind of that that soul or essence of the thing being the maple tree um, they would be asymmetrical. So as you put your maple leaves down, make sure that you're thinking about having an even balance of maple leaves, but you're spreading them out. Some here, some there, some on the top, some on the bottom, some pointing to the left, some pointing to the right, some pointing down, so that there's a feeling of balance, there's a feeling of nature. All right. Once you get um, your leaves done, you should really try to have an odd number. I've got four, five, six, and then I put the seventh one right up on top here just so I have an odd number of leaves because that typically looks better for artistic purposes. Then as you get done, um, you can put a little bit of veins in some of the lighter ones by just using the tip of your brush like that. Then wash your brush out and you'll start doing the trunk. As the, you do the trunk, you want to make sure you have a couple different values. A dark value, a light value, maybe even some white of the background paper. Um, so get some brown um, and make a lighter wash to begin with and then start that wash and as I um, paint, I, I put the tip down first and then I actually end up pushing my brush in the direction that I want the branches to go. And I try to have them look asymmetrical but yet be balanced at the same time. Um, and notice how I just drag that tip of the brush downwards like that. Okay. Then I go back and I get a little bit of brown uh, or black onto my brown color to get the darker value in there and I kind of um, scumble it along the edges of my branch. Then um, I go back at the end and get a bit of darker brown to do to fill out this edge of the branch and put in a little bit of darker value. Okay, um, so that kind of concludes the main ideas of how to make the Father's Day maple leaf bookmark.
Um, and at the end, once you've got your composition finished, please wipe out your watercolor cup there, clean off your brush really well, and wipe out your palette with your leftover paper towel. Um, and again, it's all about how you hold the brush and making sure you've got a nice tip on your brush.